A.A. Ron. Here, coach. Thank you. Mm. And what if I don't, nigga? What you gonna do, pussy? can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Hail, fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy noken is? A good question. Let's find out. Boy, this is so educational. No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. Silence, boy! Hey, what the fuck? What the dog doing? What are these animals? Go on. Native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated gulag. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one, see where it takes us. Mm. 
mother. Hey, hey. Easy, oh. easy, lemon squeeze. Mother, I'm trying to pass on high. I'm tired of niggas walking over me, bro. This shit is done. Oh. Bitch, oh. fuck you, oh. fuck you, bitch. Oh. You know what I'm fucking talking to. Oh. Fuck you, bitch. Oh. Fuck you. Oh. Within. Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining knows a bard from the temple. Great. Fuck you up! Oh. Equal rights! Oh. 
You know, now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alfheim, can you really blame them? Yes. The creature you heard, what does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Crowned the god of war, I was sent to find an apple. to get there, 
I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistake. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Swag. Look there. That bomb should help us out. It's just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphon, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creatures you heard. I know that. But I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Watch your fucking mouth. Is there something you're not telling me? No. SpongeBob? Wow. This looks like a job for Old Reliable. My crown. What is it? Great Gefune's ghost. That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Moons. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Here it comes! Ah. Boom sucker -laka. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Beautiful. Why did they trap it down here? Hathgifers are known to burrow, so I hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves, any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us... I wouldn't be me if I didn't loot. Cut the half goof and loose here. Uh, here we go again. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goof. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches... 
I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Hot digging and dog. This place is magnificent. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Grola kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her lie really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical? magical. Die, I. Bitch! Ah! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> no! But twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. <laughs> Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I need to be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. You gotta remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. Do you wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... Myself? Hmm. Oh, bloody Draugr. You've been lucky in battle, yeah. Spartan. But your Ooh. luck ends today. So on, it's over! It's there! Nasty hit! You all right, brother? Ugh! <sighs> 
Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Oh, my nigga. Now it's picture time. <laughs> 